Hi there, welcome to Sir Nick's Masterclass. This week, I'm gonna show you how to zip it and grip it. I know you love that shot. That's the one you see on TV and the pro hits it in there into the green and it goes doo -doo -doo and zzz, like that. So how do you do it? <laughs> Please tell me. Anyway, <laughs> you gotta get the weight and angle attack in the right place. Simple as that. Because any time you're helping, as you know, if you're helping it with the hands and giving it a bit of a flick, you hit it fat, the ball climbs up the face, it goes up there with topspin. So we've got to have the right angle. And with our game, as you know, we've got to be coming on a slight descending angle to connect with the ball. It's ball and grass. You cannot have any grass before, so we've got to get that right angle of attack. You squeeze the golf ball and send it off there with that lovely low spin and it goes bite, bite and stops. That's the one we're looking for. So it's all about the setup to get started. It really is. You've got to have the weight over here. You're absolutely, because you've got to be trapping it, yeah? If you're back and helping it, absolutely no chance. So try this, Put lift your right heel right off the ground so you're actually on your toe. Yeah, I want that. That's how much weight I want. So you can now balance yourself. I've got a little bit over there so I don't fall over. Yeah, so I'm like a flamingo cup. So then ball position is very important. It's kind of right in front of the eyes. Yeah, you see it. And the other thing is you get yourself round the corner, almost like an impact. So if this was a normal stance, there would be impact. So I'm now in impact position. Yeah, because the body doesn't do anything. So it's already cleared because I just want, it's just a little action, isn't it? Hands and arms are only going this far. It's all about the chest. It's a lot to do with the eyes. Keep your eyes still, head still, this way and that way. Very important. You work with the chest, but the bottom line, you've got to be leading with the left side. You cannot scoop it. As you know, if you dra drag a club through, that's a good example. I can get through it with the left hand pulling. If I did that with my right hand, I'm in a right mess. You see what happens? Does that. This fella is pulling all the way. So very important, this fella does all the leading. Feel the pressure in the left thumb. It's another very important thing because that's supporting the whole swing, like so. So it's very much left-sided. Even this as well, body and legs as well. So there, that should kind of be move. So we're trying to lean into it. Let's do it. Let's lift our heel, get the shoulder up. So, so you then need your little trigger to get it started. So you can either lift the right shoulder and come down or maybe move your left shoulder. You experiment or maybe it comes from your buttons, but this has got to be moving. We cannot go whoop, you cannot do it with the arms. Yeah, so you've got to be connected. That is really important. So you feel your triceps connected with your shirt. So wherever the chest goes, the arms are gonna go, not the other way around. So your arms can do their own thing. This is the power. The chest is the power. So sit, it's all about the setup. Eyes on the ball, so left shoulder down, trap it, boom. Got that sound, didn't I? That's what I'm trying to do. So as I get better and better at doing that, I start to feel what it's like. Obviously these are short ones, so they're just gonna grip and then release. As we get a little longer, all we do is turn the chest a little more. Oh, there it is. So that's the fella. I've got a downslope up there, so that's not easy, but you can see the idea. So you've got to experiment, but it all starts the same setup, doesn't it? Every time, and it's how, whoops, how much chest do I need? And there it is. So it's, see how I'm leading with the left side? There's no flip. Let's flip one and see what happens. Lean in, there, there you go. Exactly. Big divot, horrible. So you've got to lead left side. So do it slowly, get the feel of that. You've set up great. Now feel this left side doing the work. Just start easy. You want that lovely crisp click. Once you, I, I recommend start with that. It's all about the sound of the golf ball. Get the lovely click. There you go. Not a thud. So lead with this fella, this can be quite, oh, I'll tell you another, another simple little trick. As we get a bit older, this fella, this hand gets very overactive. So take your grip and flip your index finger over, sit it on top. Now you've really woken up all these muscles in this left arm, like so. 
Left arm has really got to do the work. So try a few like that. Squeeze the left hand, so there you go. Right's coming for a ride. Oh, that did bite. Popped up. So anytime you can get rid of that, if you're struggling from that fella, just flip the index finger over. Because you know, these muscles haven't been working. I promise you, a dozen shots and they come alive. All those little golf muscles have been sitting there going, oh, I haven't done anything for years. He hasn't asked me to work, and then suddenly they're gonna go, what the heck do you want me? There you go, see it. You hear that? Different sound, isn't it? So, it's back to quick recap. It's all about the setup, the weight, the angle, no flip, lead with this fella, quiet with this one, and work on just the sound to start off with, and then slowly progress, start picking a spot at the back of the green, Watch left and left, left and, ooh, hey, hear that one. Boom, there, ooh, there it is. There's your bike that you're looking for.